Hi, this video tutorial I will cover why we use uh, synchronization. First, we will see without synchronization what problem we will face. Here you can see the shared resource uh, employee.txt. It contains uh, name equal to ROM at uh, 2 pm. Here you can see two threads thread 1 and uh, thread 2. These two threads trying to access the shared resource uh, employee.txt at the same point of time and trying to update the information. We will see what will happen. At 2 pm, thread1 take employee.txt file for update operation and added age equal to 32 and sex equal to male. Before thread1 update this new information in file system, thread2 take employee.txt file for update operation at 2.01 pm and added id equal to 20 at 2.02 pm t1 updated the employee.txt file now the employee.txt file contains age equal to 32 and sex equal to male at 2.03 pm T2 updated the employee.txt file. Now the employee.txt file contain id equal to 20. Expected result should be name equal to ROM, age equal to 32, sex equal to male and id equal to 20. But what we got here is name equal to ROM and id equal to 20. We lost the information which thread1 has updated. If we are not using synchronization and if we allow two or more threads access the shared resource at same point of time, then this kind of inconsistency problem will occur. Now we will see with synchronization how to avoid inconsistency problem. Here you can see the shared resource uh, employee.txt. It contains uh, name equal to ROM at uh, 2 pm and locked equal to false. Here you can see thread 1 and thread 2. These two threads trying to access and update the shared resource uh, employee.txt. At 2 pm, thread 1 take uh, employee.txt file for update operation. Immediately, thread1 updates locked equal to true. Once uh, lock is true, other thread cannot access uh, employee.txt file till lock is released. Then thread1 added age equal to 32 and sex equal to male. At 2.02 pm, thread1 updated employee.txt file. Now employee.txt file contain name equal to ROM, age equal to 32 and sex equal to male and thread1 also released the lock. It updated locked equal to false. Once lock is released, other threads can access the employee.txt file. At 2.03 pm, thread2 take employee.txt file for update operation. Also, thread2 updates locked equal to true so that other threads cannot access employee.txt file till lock is released. And thread2 added id equal to 20 in employee.txt. At 2.04 pm, t2 updated employee.txt file. And employee.txt file now contains name equal to ROM, age equal to 32, sex equal to male and id equal to 20. Also thread2 updates locked equal to false. So if we use synchronization, we can avoid inconsistency problem. And this is about why we use synchronization. And thanks for watching.